I was really only looking for one rock today, and this is probably it. Pretty cool. We are in wine country, Sonoma, California, and today we are rock hounding for Sonoma Cinnabar. And when you're rock hounding in places that you're not completely familiar with, the best place to look is underneath public bridges. So that's where we're going to go. And as you can tell, it is wildflower season in California. All the plants are looking very lovely, and so are the rocks. So we're at something called a gravel bar, which is something that I talk about on my channel a lot. When a river bends, all the rocks deposit in a place called a gravel bar that is raised up above the waterline, and you can find all sorts of really cool stuff here. And this is Northern California, so we're finding a lot of calcites and a lot of jasper. And my plan is to take this jasper down to the river, wash it up, and really see those colors pop. Once you get some water on it, that's when you can tell what you actually have. So, as I am exploring, I'm not finding a ton of agate, but what I am finding is a ton of this jasper. We got some yellows, we got some reds, and we got this giant monster right here. Check this out. It's like an agate pocket surrounded by red jasper veins. Some incredible size on this one right here. Wow. You don't see that every day. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this one. And to be honest with you, I actually ended up leaving that there because uh, it was pretty much too big to carry. This green stuff that we're finding right here is chert. It's not bad, it takes a nice shine in a tumbler, but it's not what we came here for. This is the stuff that I come here looking for, and I'm not quite sure I know what it is, but um, there's usually veins of white agate in it, and in those veins of white agate, you can also find bits of red cinnabar. Right, so this yellow unidentified rock here is the host rock, and in my experience, that's where we're gonna find cinnabar. So I'm gonna collect as many pieces of this yellow stuff that I can and take it down to the water. So how do we know what we're looking for? Well, upstream are several mercury mines um, that I have been to. And basically, the mountainsides of most of those mercury mines are made out of this stuff. This kind of yellow stuff with agate veins running through it. And since I know what the host rock looks like, then that's what I'm going to be looking for. Red rock within white rock within yellow rock. So let's collect as many of these yellow rocks as we can and see if there's any cinnabar in them. Okay, let's take these down for inspection. Okay, the first one has nothing. The second one has nothing, but you can see there's a little bit of white chalcedony vein running in there. Um, but again, we need red to be inside that white vein. A lot of these are just duds. This is, this is just a really rare rock to find. This one's got a lot of white chalcedony in it, but no red cinnabar. I finally find my first little speck of what we're looking for right there. Can you see it? But that little speck is not impressive. The most impressive rock that I found of the day was this right here. This one's gonna be a good one. You can already see the cinnabar just peeking out the corner there. Okay, so let's take this down and get a really nice, good, wet peek at this. Check it out. The whole side of that thing is just red cinnabar. Check out those nice, clearly defined crystals in there. That's perfect. Okay, this is what we came for, cinnabar crystals in agate. Cinnabar is crystallized mercury. It's normally safe to handle, um, you just don't really want to eat it. And in my opinion, it's one of the coolest minerals that Northern California has to offer. I always like to figure out what rocks are rare in the rest of the world, but common in your region. One rock hounding trick that I know is to always look where there's roots and bushes, because those roots are going to trap the bigger rocks coming down the river, and it's a great place to look. Case in point, right under this little root system right here is a huge piece of multicolored banded chert. I'm going to take that out, give it a wash, and really see the colors pop in there. There's some green, there's some red. That's pretty nice. I also found a piece of calcite with a pocket of quartz crystals in the middle. There's a little crystal pocket in there. And every now and then at this location you can find some really nice vibrant red jasper. This one doesn't look like anything, right? Just watch. So I'm going to take it down, I'm going to give it a little rinse, and you can really see the contrast there. Check out those really vivid different shades of red in that. That's a keeper. Same with this one. This is jasper right here. It doesn't look like much. Give it a little bit of a rinse. And now check out those colors. That's like ultraviolet yellow. So this right here on the ground is what you call a high grading pit. You can tell other rock hounds have been here and high graded their stuff, leaving the low grade stuff behind. So now I'm going to explore a little bit further up on the shore and see if I can find some more of that uh, red cinnabar within that yellow host rock. And I'm finding some nice pieces.
And Cinnabar here doesn't only occur in that yellow host rock. Here it is here on uh, a piece of calcite and chert. Here's what it looks like when Cinnabar is on chert and calcite. It's not quite as breathtaking because it's not really as defined as it would be if you found it in agate. Yeah, you really want that like stark white on red contrast. That's what's really gonna be impressive. Like this one right here, check that out. That is really vibrant. You can tell that's, that's a nice impressive rock right there. Cinnabar is kind of a rare crystal to find because you normally find it at mercury mines and those are normally off limits because they're so dangerous, even after they've been closed down. But if we can catch those rocks as they come down river from those mines and the cinnabar crystals haven't been tumbled away by the river or deteriorated by the atmosphere yet, then we're pretty lucky. So here's that one that I found earlier. Remember this one? It's, it's great, but it's not the best because the cinnabar is on the crust. This one is awesome, but because most of the cinnabar is just out there on the surface and it's not under agate, then if I start to tumble this or polish it in any way, that cinnabar crystal is going to just rub right off. Other than wine production, Sonoma County is known for its mercury mines, so if you're looking for cinnabar, this is a really good place to look. Alright, I found two rocks that I'm definitely going to keep, and I know that like two is not a lot, but this stuff is rare and hard to find, so I'll take what I can get. If you enjoy this kind of content, feel free to like and subscribe. Another day of successful rock hounding, Sonoma County Cinnabar. Pretty cool.